everyone, this is Megan, and I wanted to come today to announce my 500 plus subscriber giveaway. Um, I thought it was about time. I'm nearly 600 subscribers, or actually I'm at 600 subscribers now, so it was high time to have one. So um, at the end of this video will be the instructions on how to enter, but um, I just first want to say how grateful I am to all you subscribers and people who comment and um, it really makes YouTube fun and I've met such great people on here. And um, anyway, let me get down to it. Um, I try to keep um, kind of a like neutral set of items that could be used both for paper crafting and for my resin jewelry people. So hopefully, um, you guys will both like these. Um, anyway, let me get started. Um, let me start with some of the paper stuff. Here is a Studio 18, I guess it is, um, chipboard album. It's a purse. And it's got, I think, five, yeah, five purses and then the split ring. So there's that one. I also have a cupcake one for mini albums. So the same thing, five um, chipboard pieces and then the ring. So there's that. I also have ten of each of these coin envelopes. They're really great, of course, for paper crafting, but and cards and all that, but for you jewelry makers, they're really great to package things in, too, especially like rings and stuff. So, there's them. I have this brand new box of American Crafts. It's called Snow Cone. It's 24 feet of two-sided ribbon in six different rolls. So really um, wintry colors, really pretty ribbon. So I may actually have to take this out and then just give you the rolls just in case it doesn't fit in the box. But just so you know, they're all brand new. So I have this blue square. If you guys have not seen these before, it is super cool. You heat them up on the surface. You can do it on both sides, actually. Heat it up and then, like, impress, uh, like, bubble wrap or any kind of texture into the foam, and it gives you, like, an instant stamp. So it's really cool stuff. If you need to see how to do it, I can always do a video on it, so, because I have more of my own. So there's that. I've got some sequins. This is, like, a tropical mix. Great for resin. It's got hibiscuses, pineapples, little spangle pieces, flowers, palm trees. So there's that. This is a wedding mix of sequins. It's got top hat. It says just married. A little bride and groom. Great to put inside of cards too. This is a love mix. It's got like the sentiment hearts and little bitty hearts and the word love. Uh, sorry about the glare, guys. What does that? For my resin people, I've got four containers of pigment powder. These are also great for putting into faux glimmer mists. Just add water, a little bit of glue, and this and you'll have a glimmery spray. This one's called Gold Mine. It's a kind of a goldish, orangish color. And they're not MAC, just so anybody knows, they're not MAC. So, but they're brand new. So, this is called Crystal. It's a light pinkish purple color. So they're seven and a half grams, so they're bigger than like a mica powder container. So they've got this cool 
little like spout on them. Ah, of course I can't get it closed now. Okay. There we go. This one's called Pink Venus. It's a light pink color. So, this one's called Humid. It's kind of a metallic-y green color. Really pretty. So they're great for resin and for paper. And there is a moth flying around in here. Okay. Um... This is a probably, I didn't count, but there's probably about 200 screw eyes here. They're like the little ones of what I use. They're small but mighty. So, great for resin, great for um, any kind of hanging thing. So, there's them. And there's also 50 to maybe 100 of the glue on bales the, the ones I use they've got the larger hole great for the back of like altered dominoes or any of that so and of course resin so I've got three molds here um, of course for resin you guys know what to do with these but for um, paper people this is great to use with hot glue or UT for embellishments. So this flower rose, they're silicone, so they're nice and flexible. There's this rose. And this rose. If you want to see what I've done with some of these in resin, I think it's one or two videos back. You'll see. Um, so there's them. Now on to some stamps. First off, a set of my stamps. This is a full sheet, uncut, of uh, red rubber and if you want you'll have to let me know I can put a, um, a cling mount on the back if you want some I don't know if you guys have special kinds that you like or you don't like it at all but there's I've only got two more sets of this and then they're gone because I didn't sell enough so it was worth a try so there's those. And the set of Inka Dinka Doo letter stamps. And this KI Memories. It's called Icons, but it's got a really great, like, fall images and the turkey and give thanks tree. So there's those. That's the stamps. And then I've got um, quite a bit of paper. So I picked out some of my favorites from my stack that I have. So stuff that I use myself and just some of my favorites. This is... I. They're cut down into six by six. So, this is a pack of K Sera Sera by Kane Company, and it's one of each sheet from the collection. So you guys have all seen this, I'm sure. These are great too for you jewelry makers to package your jewelry in. So it's nice heavy cardstock. So there's that. This is Kane Company. A peppermint twist. It's a Christmas line from last year. I actually have some of it out over here I can show you. I was making cards with it. But there's a really great Santa. Look at him. Isn't he cute? This is a... It's got a lot of glitter on it. 
So that's Peppermint Twist. I've got a brand new pack of Making Memories Anthology Collection. I love this paper. It's great for cards. And it's 48 single-sided sheets. That is my favorite right there. But I love these packs because there's enough paper that if you're making a like a, a card in mass, there's a lot of the same design. I've got a 6x6 paper pad from Prima, the Londonary paper stack. Brand new, except I've, I've taken the little thing off so I can show you. I love that one. It's got some really great solid kind of colors and then it's got some nice designed paper too. So there's that. I've got some Autumn Leaves Couture paper. This is a little thinner paper, but I love the designs in it. I'm not going to take it out. There's like 40 sheets in here, but really nice paper. Here's K and Company Urban Rhapsody. It's got some great vintage images in it. I really like this paper. And one of my favorites. Color box, ripe berry. I don't know. It's right up my alley. I love the bold kind of color designs. So, and that is it, I think. I may put a little extras in there. I'm not sure. Um, maybe some buttons or something. I have for my resin people, I have... Um, an order coming in. If it comes in in time, I'll include uh, a couple pieces off the mold of um, Youngkin's M's. That square mold that she uses a lot. Um, I have some coming in, so that could be included. It might not be included. It depends on how long it takes to get here. So Anyway, this is the giveaway for my 500 plus subscribers. Um... To enter, you have to leave a comment down below. Just one time, please. Um, duplicate entries won't be um, allowed. Um, you have to be a subscriber, so I'll be, I'll be checking to make sure. And um, that's it. If you want to, though, increase your chances of winning, you can do a really quick 10-second shout-out video Hey, I'm Megan Beads is having a giveaway, you know, go check it out kind of thing. Um, and do a video response to this video. I will, um, for every video response, you know, one per person, of course, but for every one that you do, you'll get another five entries into the pot. So you could get up to six entries. So. Anyway, I'll put the rules again in the down bar, and this will go until, let's see, um, I'll do it till the, not this Sunday, but the next Sunday. Um, I'd love to tell you the date right now, but I can't access my phone, so I will put the date, um, the ending date, the closing date down in the down bar also. So, um, thank you guys for watching and being subscribers, and, um, I hope to hopefully have a thousand soon, and then I can do another giveaway, so, um, thanks again. Have a great day. Bye.